on behalf of research team of access securities will talk about the market outlook first the domestic markets are expected to open lower sgx nifty is trading lower 0.48 percent results today gujarat gas gulf oil lubricants indian bank hudco jastar lnt infotech kc international narayana ruddale rec torrent power thomas cook varun beverages westman corporation west life developers also nac to auction 2170 crores of government debt quota for fis today on the corporate front itc plans to invest 10000 crore to set up food processing facilities across the country also reliance nepo asset management uh, company will be listed on the national stock exchange the ipo price band was rupees 247 to 252 Also, Power Grid Corporation of India has received an approval to form JV with Uttar Pradesh Power Transmission Corporation on 50-50 equity participation basis for taking up intrastate transmission system in Uttar Pradesh. On the technical front, Nifty started the week on a flat note but continued its previous week positive momentum to end the week on a strong note. It closed at 10,453 with a gain of 129 points on a weekly basis. The chart pattern suggests that if Nifty crosses and sustains out 10,470 levels, it would witness buying, which will lead the index towards 10,550 to 10,640 levels. However, if index breaks below 10,380 levels, it would witness selling, which would take the index towards 10,310 and 10,270 levels. Stocks looking strong: Sale, Ujjwal, KTK Bank, Engineers India, SBI, Tata Motors, Sun TV, Mind Tree, LNT. Stocks looking weak. Vakrangi, Bajaj Paints, TVS Motors, Reliance Infra, Apollo Hospital. USDNR opened with a downward gap and traded with extreme volatility on either side to close in negative territory. It closed at 64.74 with a loss of 0.11 percent. Chart pattern suggests that if USDNR crosses and sustains above 64.76 levels, it would witness buying, which would lead USDNR towards 64.86 to 65 levels. However, if index breaks below 64.7 levels, it would witness selling, which would take USD in a towards 64.6 to 64.5 levels. On the derivatives front, Nifty futures close at 10,486, increase by 0.3 percent, with 2.32 percent increase in open interest, indicating long build-up. Nifty futures close with 35 points premium compared to previous day premium of 31 points. FIS were net buyers in derivative segment to the tune of 224 crores. Among stock futures, Ramco Cement, Bank of Baroda, Engineers India, and UBL have witnessed long build-up and may show strength in coming session. Stocks that have witnessed short build-up are Kotak Bank, Power Grid, PFC, and PEL, and may remain weak in coming session. So this is from our end. Thank you.